Why, hello there. Today, I'm going to show you something amazing that I found. Check this out. This is a cape. This cape, I managed to get for free, and I did not pay a penny for it. Now, do you want to know how I did that? The answer is yes, you do. So, let me show you how to get your own custom free cape. One quick note, this is not a tutorial on how to mod Minecraft, I'll link one of those in the description, but once you've figured out how to get mods working in Minecraft, you're going to want to go to the Modrinth website, it's modrinth.com. You're then going to want to go to mods, and type in Minecraft Capes. And it should be this first listing here, looks like this. Now this mod will allow you to make any custom cape for absolutely free, and anyone with the mod installed will be able to see it. You're going to want to download whichever uh, version you're playing. So for me that would be Fabric 1.20.4. Alright, now that we've downloaded the mod, we're going to want to move the file into our mods folder, which is located, uh, if you didn't know, in the .minecraft folder. .minecraft and mods. Alright, the next step is to design our cape, so we are going to want to go to web.blockbench.net. Blockbench is a free modeling website where we can make the texture for our cape, so we're going to want to go into Minecraft skin, right here. Hit create new model. Now it should have a thing that pops up here, it looks like this, we're going to want to hit model. And it should say player wide by default, we're going to want to type in there the cape, plus elytra. Alright, so then it pulls up this, it shows our cape over here. Elytra over there will be able to be able to just draw whatever we want so I'll just real quick draw this and show you the next step. Alright, so I have finished with my texture, so uh, the next thing I've got to do is I've got to hit this little button to save the texture, and I'll save it in my downloads folder. The next thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to head back to the modern page. There should be a link here to minecraftcapes.net. So you're going to want to go click upload cape, and It'll ask you to log in with Microsoft or just using Minecraft. I'm going to hit log in using Minecraft. Then it wants you to join the server below. So we're going to open Minecraft. Now Minecraft's open. We get our modded version. Hit play. Alright, now that Minecraft's up, we're going to go ahead and grab the server. Head into multiplayer, add server, hit done. So we're going to click on the server. It says fail to connect to server. That's perfectly fine because it gives us the authorization code. So we're going to type that in. Ours is 215127. We're going to hit confirm identity. Alright, it knows our Minecraft character, we're all set up, it'll show us what cape we have currently equipped. If you're doing this for the first time, you should see nothing. You're going to want to go to Upload Cape, and then select File, upload the new cape that you just made, it'll show it here on your skin, and then you can even switch to the Elytra. Alright, looks good. 
going to want to hit upload. Now if we go into a single player world, or a multiplayer world, didn't matter. Hit F5, and we have got our new cape. Now you know how to make your own custom cape. Now I hope you like this video, and if you do, maybe consider uh, hitting that subscribe button, and maybe smashing the like button. And I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.